that stretch of threes in the second quarter, how much did that just kind of break the spirit? Well, it, it, I mean, I don't know if it broke the spirit. It broke the game wide open, and, and it was, I'm going to say that we had probably, you know, we had some turnovers turn into points, but you know what a big problem was today? I thought they turned into points, and it certainly wasn't that stretch. Two of the threes were off missed layups at our end. I don't know how many layups we missed today. I'm going to say, you know, I'll get the stats fairly soon, but I'm going to say we missed seven or eight just at the rim layups. And the problem is you got a perimeter guy going to the rim. He's beating his guy, which means his guy's behind him. We missed the layup, and then they're out, and we don't get matched up. And they hit two threes for sure in that stretch were off missed layups, and we didn't get matched up. And, you know, we could just never could get our defense set in the second quarter. I, and then the other problem is, and, and I don't have a total answer to that, I mean, is when we had this problem in Detroit the other night, even on the possessions that we defend well, then the shot clock's running down, the ball's at seven, and J.R. Smith, Tony Douglas, Iman Shumpert, somebody, Baron Davis, just line somebody up, take them two or three dribbles, and and score, you know, I mean, we, we just, I thought we did a better job in our schemes and things. I thought our guys competed. I didn't think that was a problem. I mean, you know, uh, I, I just, we just really struggle. We're in a bad, obviously a bad time right now. We've got, you know, we're not the deepest team in the world anyway. We've got guys hurt. We're not playing well at all. We've got no rhythm, different guys in and out. They played great, and it's just a, you know, it's a very bad time. We've got three weeks to go in 11 games. And, you know, you got to have some faith that, you know, we can get back to playing the way we were three weeks ago. You know, everything's changed for the bad in the last two weeks. So we just got to get back to playing, you know, when things were good two, three weeks ago. And, and that can be the only, that's got to be the only focus right now. Stan, after everything that happened today, I mean, is there any reason to believe that this team can get back there mentally? I mean, yeah, absolutely. I, I think we will. We got three weeks, and uh, we got tough guys in there, and I think that uh, we'll be fine. I think we'll get back to uh, to play well. I mean, I, I think that um, you know things tend to snowball like this, and you know other teams have had these stretches early in the year. Um, other than the top four teams in the league, everybody's had these stretches, and. You know, you get discouraged and nothing's going right, and then people start pressing, and it's sort of a snowball um, effect. But you'll break out of it. I mean, to me, one good game will, uh, you know, somewhere along the way, playing well once will will spur us back to uh, to playing well. And were the things that were said this morning have any effect on Dwight, and what effect are they having on you? Well, they're not having any effect on me, and I don't think so. I thought Dwight played really, really hard. I mean, they ran a lot of guys at him. Um, he was throwing the ball out. We were struggling making jumpers. I thought he was working hard defensively. You know, you can ask him, but uh, I don't think that had anything to do with anything. I mean, it certainly did not help uh, them making threes, you know. I mean, again, I don't know how many times it's happened to us this year, but just in the last few weeks, and. and it's something that's driving me crazy. Every game, we have guys on the other team who come into the game shooting under 30% from three, make multiple threes. So tonight, it's J.R. Smith, Landry Fields, and Carmelo Anthony all make multiple threes, all come in shooting under 30%. I mean, that certainly got nothing to do with anything that happened this morning. So, you know, it didn't help them. They, they played well. Guys made shots. and. You know, we give up 13 threes to a team that's not a great three-point shooting team. Stan, has anyone in the front office told you whether you'll coach the remainder of the season? And uh, do you expect to be on the trip to, to Philly? Yeah, I do expect to, yeah. Coach, you set up quite a firestorm earlier today. Do you have any additional comments on No. I didn't really, you know, have comments. You know, I, I simply you know, clarify the situation. That was it. I don't I didn't have any comments about anyone and I don't have any comments about anyone now. Can you tell us who your source in the front office is? My source? Yeah, well I work for people. I mean I don't I don't like have a source. I, I don't have to like go to somebody to find out. People actually tell me things. You know, I work here. 
I work here. And can you share with us who that person was who told you? Why? Why would I, I mean, you know, the, my management. Hey, Stan, back to basketball. You talked about the bad stretch of games right now, five-game losing streak. What are you telling you guys in the locker room? You know, you got a lot of battle-tested guys. What are you guys talking yeah, about? Yeah, right I, I mean, look, I mean, you just got to – everybody in there has been through these games and have been through stretches of games like this. There's not one guy in the NBA who hasn't been through this. And when you get in these stretches, sometimes it seems like it's never going to end, and it always does. You know, it always does, and you bounce back, and then you've got a chance to uh, to play well. You know, and the only thing I said to him is, you know, that's got to be our only focus is just going out and, and playing better. We've got to get ready to play a great game on, on Saturday. It's not about looking at the standings or any of that. we got to go out and play a great game on uh, Saturday. That's it. Anything else? Do you feel like you can convince Dwight to not want you fired at this point? I don't, I don't think that that's, like I said today, and this is where it all started. I understand you guys, you know, ran with only part of it, but the first response was, that's not what's important right now. It's not. My job security and me, Stan Van Gundy, that's not important. What Dwight wants as far as that is not important right now. What's important right now is that we focus on playing better as a team. That, that's, that's what's important, and that's what we started with today when I was first asked the question, and then somebody asked me if it was true, and I said it was. That was it. But if you go back to where we started, it was, that's not what's important, and it's not. Okay, tell me. Understanding that what you divulged today has been extremely your truth most of the season, can that be cathartic? to the point where you've got 11 games to go to jockey proceedings, but at the same time, the current result notwithstanding. Cathartic. First of all, I'm a basketball coach, and I work with basketball players. So if you took all of our coaches and all of our players, what is that, 22? We might have two or three that know what cathartic means. So, And I'm not one of them. So actually, I am. I do have an idea what it means. Um, I Cathartic. Look, we, we need to win a game. That's what would be cathartic at this point. When you've lost five in a row and you've been playing poorly, the only thing that's going to be cathartic is that's probably the most times I've used that word in my life. The only thing that's going to be cathartic is, is winning a game. That, that's it. You know, that's what happens in these stretches is, you know, it just it snowballs and it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And somewhere along the line, you got to break out of it. It's not easy. And then that becomes cathartic, and you can move on. And that's what we need right now. We just need to get a win by half a point against anybody and start feeling better and, and moving on. That's where we've got to go right now. That's the only thing that we can do. To use a simpler term, with all the BS put aside, can you rally from this just by winning? Yeah, yeah. I, look, look, here's the thing, okay, first of all. You know, it, we all get into this and we want to play better. I said this this morning, okay? We played a horrendous, inexcusable game in New York, okay? We came back against Dallas, and we played well. We played well. Dallas played very well. It was a very good game. Dirk Nowitzki makes. Hito Turkoglu and Ryan Anderson miss. And you've got a loss, okay? So then... You know, we go against Denver, we don't have Dwight. We play a very, very good game. We're, we're, we're down two with 40 seconds to go. They've got the ball, we need to stop. Ryan not only rolls his ankle and play, he goes down. He's on Ty Lawson, Ty Lawson sticks a jumper. We lose a very competitive game. We go up to Detroit. We don't have three starters, okay? Arguably, not even arguably, they our three best offensive players in the past month. We go on the road without them. Take any team in the NBA, take their three best offensive players away. We play a very competitive game. And then we come in here today, still without Ryan, lose Turk at the half, and we play against a team that is a struggle for us with their quickness. So it's five games in a row, but you can 
you can overstate it too. I mean, it's, it's not like we've played five awful games in a row. We have not. You know, we played the two New York games. They've, you know, gotten us pretty good. We were better today than we were there. We're down some people. We got to get healthy, and you know, we got to win some of those close games we're in. You know, I mean, that, that's that's really what it comes down to. And I understand it's. Believe me, I feel it more than anybody that it's five losses in a row. But at the same time, you've got to put it in perspective of of what's actually of what's actually happened. I mean, this is not even our worst stretch of the year. I mean, if you go back to where we lost five out of six when we had everybody, well, we actually didn't have everybody, but we had more people. I mean, that was our worst stretch of the year. This is this is very difficult right now. But but yeah, we can come out of this. I mean, we, we haven't been playing that badly, and you know, we got to get a lineup that plays yes. together for a few games, and we'll be we'll be out. Sam, between uh, this morning and tomorrow, you have a chance to talk to Dwight about what was said, and if so, were you able to come to a sort of common understanding about how to move forward? He and I and, and Otis met, and you know, I mean, yeah. I mean, look, I, yes. I mean, we've been together all year this year. We've been together for for five years, so we know each other very well. I mean, do I go out and play and I'll coach? And that's the understanding. I mean, we know that. All right.